my name is Alex Bales, and my email partner was Skyler. Hi, I'm Carly, and my email partner is Destiny. And I'm Courtney, and my email partner was Alyssa. Our book was Make Lemonade, which is about LaVon and how she takes care of kids for Jolly. Jolly has two kids and has dropped out of high school and is now working at her job down the road at a uh, factory. Partway through the book, her job at the factory gets removed from extenuating circumstances and she now has to figure out how to be able to take kids on her own and LaVon is there to help her through the process. As we'll show, we'll show how hard and difficult it can actually be to take care of kids and even just to go to college by yourself. Okay, so this first poster represents what LaVon's life looks like. Um, she has high hopes about going to college and from what we know, she's 14 and she has the opportunity to do it. Um, her mother really stresses her education too, so it's it's very important to her that she doesn't end up like her mother and especially that she doesn't end up like Jolly. And this is a lemon tree and down here we have the root system and as long as as long as there's a pretty deep root system and it's getting a lot of sunlight and a lot of water, and I mean the tree will turn out just fine. Um, but also in the root system, for someone who has a lot of opportunity like LeVon, there's a lot of room for schoolwork. We have books, we have notebooks, globes, rulers, lots of pencils and pens. A um, lot of opportunity for LeVon that's, that's already established in her life and she's very motivated. So in the lemon tree, we have a few lemons that are already fully grown. And we also have a lot of graduation caps and stars and cameras and diplomas, which is hopefully what she is going to receive through all of her hard work. Um, however, there are some challenges in, in, in here um, that are supposed to be, that are supposed to be pr your priorities as a student. And if you aren't distracted and if you are motivated enough, you should be able to reach this, um, to reach this conclusion, which is what LeVon hopes to do. But when she starts babysitting for Jolly, the priorities in her life are a little, a little taken over by um, the overlap in Jolly's life. And what we're actually going to see now is how much more difficult your life becomes if you have all this schoolwork to complete, but you also have other priorities. Okay, so this lemon tree is starting to grow, but it's not quite as large. As you can see, the roots aren't nearly reaching the bottom, and at the bottom we see stuff like schoolwork and other priorities. And near the top where the roots are actually reaching is the having a child. And this is having one child, which before the book starts, Jolly only has one kid and she has to take care of her son and she has to work on making sure he's okay before she can actually get to the schoolwork. So her priorities don't quite reach the bottom, which for her is school. And it creates a problem in her life. And in this metaphor that's used, the lemon tree isn't quite growing as quickly or as fast as it could. The water's not reaching the bottom. The roots aren't being able to dig deeply into the container. And that's only dealing with one kid and not the two that Jolly actually has when we see her in the book. And so now we can take a look at how hard this becomes when you add another kid to the mixture. So in this poster, you can see that the roots don't reach the bottom because there are so many distractions with two children. Rather than um, having the opportunity to go to school, Jolly struggles to take care of both of her children, and her life is more chaotic now. And so the roots of this tree can't make it to the schoolwork, which falls down to the bottom. So Jolly really has to figure out how to do that and possibly you know, go to school and be able to get a better job. And towards the end of the book, we get to see how Jolly deals with this a little bit more. What we do want you to take away from this is that even though this poster does look very, very daunting because of everything in it and that the, there's still schoolwork present, it's not impossible for um, a single mom to get, a, to get an education, as we found with our own author. Um, and the back, in the back of the book, our author does include a note saying that she used to be jolly and she, that used to be her life and, and that it, it is overwhelming and there's always things that are going to seem like they're never going to get clean. And, and circumstances that are never going to get any better, but eventually it does. Um, and she learns how to make lemonade, which is a meta metaphor in the book for overcoming obstacles. And um, the one thing that Jolly does take away from, 
from going back to school and from her classes is when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. It makes your life a whole lot easier. <laughs>